Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be Medicine at Midnight from the new Foo Fighters album of the same name. It's a really cool little song to play on the guitar. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier. Give me a like on the video, leave me some comments in the comment section including any songs you want to learn. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing these videos, I've got a Patreon account. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. We've only got three lines of music that we need to learn for this song. We've got like the riff, we've got the verse, and we've got the chorus part. The riff sounds like this. So, to play that, we're going to play E5 twice. I'm doing it palm muted, I'm doing a down and up stroke, and then to fret 8 on the E string. A5 and A7 and sliding off it. It's not important to slide off it, but that's what he does on the track. So you go and slower. And it's starting on the off beat, so it's like one. So on the end of beat one. The next bar goes A7, A6, A5. I'm doing down, up, down, because it's quite fast. And then back to E8 and E5. And again, sliding off of that. So bar two, one. Bars one and two together go one, two, three, four, one. Bar three is the same as bar one. And the fourth bar, you play D5 twice, and then jump up to A5, E8, and E5. So bar four goes rest. Okay, so the whole line slowly goes one. Speed one, two, three, four, rest. So that repeats round that riff, and then we get the verse, and the verse sounds like this. So for that we've got an A minor chord, which is your first finger on B1, second finger on D2, third finger on G2, and we're going to play from the A string downwards, and then after you play that you're going to play the E string, then the B string, and then the G, without moving your fingers, so you've got this, slowly, up to speed. And then, into the next bar, take your third finger off and you're going to play the open G and hammer on to G2. And leave your first finger down through this, so your first finger stay on, stays on B1, so your third finger is going to hammer on to fret 2 of the G string. Play the open E, the B1 that your first finger is still there, and then the G2. So you've got this. So that's bar 6. Bar 7 is the same thing but slightly different rhythm. The rhythm goes. So let's play the first three bars of that line uh, from bar five, six, and seven. So go. And bar eight, you do the hammer on again. And play the E and the B strings twice. So bar eight goes. So let's play the first four bars of that line we've got. Then it goes to D minor, which is your first finger E1, third finger B3, second finger on G2. Then play the E string, B, and the G. So you got. And then the G5 chord, which is your little finger E3, third finger on B3, 
and second finger on E3 nearest your face. You hit all that, make sure uh, your second finger touch the A string so the A string doesn't ring. So you've got. And you play E, B, G on that chord as well. So let's try the whole line of the verse. Here we go. And it goes back and plays the first part of the riff, um, just the first two bars. And then it goes back into the verse. Uh, and then after this, the verse goes round again, it's going to go to the chorus. Now the chorus is very similar to part of the verse, so you get this. So for that we go D minor chord, which we've done already, E, B, G, the G5, we've done that as well, and E, B, G. Then does an A minor chord, and then you take your fingers off, and then back on, so you've got and then off, on, off, on, off, on so you can see it's just jumping between the A minor chord and just hitting the strings without your fingers on, so you've got so slowly that'll be up speed Okay, so the first two bars of that chorus repeat round. So you play the first four bars, and then bars 15 and 16 are the same as the first and the second bars of that line. So the whole of the chorus will go like this. One, two, three, four. Back to the riff. And that's the song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson of mine. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier. Give me a like on the video, leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you want to learn, where in the world you're from, uh, and just what you thought of the video would be amazing. Also, if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, I've got a Patreon account. I've said it as cheaply as possible. I'll also put the tabs for this on there so you can print them out so you've got them at home. Thanks for watching this, I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.